Hi, welcome to Audacity Tutorial Part 2. In this tutorial, you will learn how to edit your audio file. So let's go ahead and start a new project. So you go File, New. And you can import any audio file that you can test with or you want to edit. So I'll select this one. Once you import the file, you will see your Audacity window looking like this with your audio tracks. Before I start editing, it's good to bring your attention to some useful tools you have in this window that would help make your editing easier. So first, I will talk about the Time Shift tool, which is located up on the top right here. This tool allows you to change the relative positioning of tracks relative to one another in time. To use this tool, simply click and drag to the left or right, like so. And you have the slider here at the bottom to show you the start point and the end point of your audio track. The other tool is the zoom tool, which is beside the time shift tool and it looks like a magnifier icon so basically this tool allows you to zoom in in your track so after clicking the button you can just go to your track and click it to zoom in and if you want to zoom out you can hold the shift key and then click back on your track to zoom out so basically you need to zoom in to see the details once you need to edit to know the start point and the end point of your editing pieces of your clip. So let's zoom out a bit. And then the most important tool to start editing is the selection tool, which is right here. To select the part you wish to cut, copy, or paste, use the selection tool by clicking it and then going to your track and selecting the area by clicking and dragging, you will see that the dragged areas are highlighted, which basically you can play them separately and edit them to find the start and end point for your editing purposes. So I'd say for a small class, to I extend really or contract your selection tool, to hold down the shift button and click the area you wish your selection to extend or contract like so. So by holding the shift button on my keyboard I can uh, make the selection um, extended or I can minimize it like so. So let's say we want to cut this section right here from this start point to this end point which is highlighted. If you want to double check you play that section to listen where you can so you don't cut the words and then to cut this section you can just basically go to the scissors icon right here which is the cut tool and click cut and you will see that section is gone. You can paste it for example in a different section by locating your playhead in the area that you want to paste that cut audio clip and then click the paste icon which is right here and there you go whatever you cut is pasted in the spot you where you place your playhead so let's play it again 20 I'll usually know their names by so I'd say for a small class I'm the first month and I try to make a and the good thing remember about audacity that you can always undo by clicking control Z on your keyboard shortcut so I'm undoing right now my editing and then I want to show you example of copying and pasting so I'm not cutting my um, audio clip I'm just copying it and pasting it again so again we go to the selection tool let's say we want to copy this area so you click and drag to highlight and then play it the first month so I want to repeat the first month words so I click and then I click copy and I want to place it right here 
So you place your playhead where you want to place it within your audio track and then click paste. So here you will see it repeated. The first month, the first month. So that's basically basting your data back into the track wherever your playhead was placed. So in other words, pasting is the opposite of cutting. Now you learn some basic editing, and usually editing is about cutting, placing, fading, cross-fading, shifting, duplicating, and adjusting the volume, which is also referred as level, of your audio material. Here are the keyboard shortcuts for copying, pasting, and cutting. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thank you.